here we are in an undisclosed parking lot in the middle of Coos Bay, uh, Oregon. And uh, my hubs basically have failed me. Uh, my automatic hubs that came stock with this truck failed me. So uh, today we went into Napa and we picked up about $300 worth of parts uh, to convert my hubs to, to manual hubs. So Conrad is just getting the first automatic hub off of the off of the truck. All right, hey guys, we're gonna put the uh, manual hub on Ben's truck. So I'm gonna remove the automatic locking hub assembly, and then we're gonna remove this uh, lock uh, uh, snap ring. Okay, snap ring's removed. Now we're gonna remove this little spacer spacer, retainer, whatever the hell it is. Spacer's removed. Now we're gonna pull off the other half of the auto hub assembly. Okay, we got that off. Now there's some, a couple of paper thin spacers here that we need to remove. And now we get our magnetic finger and in this little groove in the spindle, you'll see a little pin. So we grab our magnetic finger and we pull that pin out of the hole just like that. Boom, that'll allow us to undo the bearing nut. Okay, so we are continuing to unthread this lock lock nut, uh, bearing retainer nut actually, is what the official name is. Got that removed. I'm getting my left hand a little close to that brake rotor with my greasy fingers. Make sure you don't get any grease on your rotors. Um, so that's all removed. Now, next step is to get in our worn kit, is to get the inner one, and the inner one has the pin in it. See that pin there? So that's the inner one. And we're gonna put that right up against the, right up against the bearing. Okay. And then we're going to use our special service tool that we picked up at Napa for 16 bucks to tighten this a little. But let me give it a spin. Okay. Seat, seat, you're seating the, the bearing, right? Yep, we're seating the bearing. And you should use a torque wrench for this step, but we don't have one and we're kind of in a tight spot. So I'm going to kind of wing this. So this is 35 feet pounds? Yep. That's probably plenty. <laughs> yep. Okay. And now. We're gonna want to seat the bearing. So what does seating the bearing do? Does it just settle everything in place? What does yep. it do? It pushes extra grease out of the bearing if there is any, you know, like if we freshly packed these bearings. Or to, um, to just make sure that the bearing's in the correct position in the wheel hub, you know, because it has to be right up in there to be doing its job right. And so now we have to bear the load. Um, so now back it off 90 degrees back it off 90 degrees Okay Now put the lock washer in put the lock washer in with this notch facing the forward So this little ear goes in that notch on the forward part of the uh, spindle on the truck the existing spindle on the truck and now So we're probably gonna want to flip that around to the next half and then tighten it a little bit more. There you go. There. Okay. And now we take our second one. So now we got our second lock nut. <clears throat> and this is the one that you actually tighten. So basically going to get it as tight as I can. Um, 85 to 135 is the torque spec on this kit. Uh, but uh, could be different on your vehicle. So just make sure you follow the book and use a torque wrench. Don't, don't do this unless you have to. So uh, we have uh, we have what we call Conrad strength, and then we have what we call Ben strength. So uh, 35 feet pounds is kind of Ben strength, and 130 pounds or whatever this is going to be torqued to is Conrad strength, and uh, he's a pretty strong guy. So I kind of trust him when it comes to these. Uh, you know, high torquing uh, environments. What do you say, Conrad? 
Ready to slap the hub up on there? Now for the final, final touches. Final step. So the way I did this, the way I got this figured out, is if you look, the old hub left a grease mark where that hole goes. So, line up the grease mark. Speaking of grease, I'm gonna wipe this excess grease off real quick and slap that on and we're done. Pretty quick, pretty quick job. You know, we, we were thinking this was gonna take us a long time. Um, it seems like all of our bush jobs always take way too long. But uh, in this particular case, we've uh, kind of come out ahead hopefully. So uh, the real test will be uh, whether they work uh, when we get back to our campsite into the sand dunes. We hope you enjoyed this overtime 4x4 special tutorial on locking hubs. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.